Hi guys, it's me Brenda. Okay, I'm gonna do one pour today and I'm starting to do it early so that um, it doesn't get too hot in the garage. I've got, I don't know, I'm gonna play with colors. Rob asked me to stop using the a lot of the teals, so I am. I've got this red, this was the last of my Handy Art Acrylics Red. And, or pretty much the last. This is the kind of what I used to call the cardinal red that I made. Um, so this is the color that I made up myself. And then we have the Liquitex Basics Red Oxide, which is this one right here. And then I have, I went ahead and used the Arteza, the uh, Shocking Lime Green. Just because I wanted to see what that'll do. So there's that, the Arteza Shocking Lime Green. I used a Liquitex Basics uh, Thalo Blue. And there's what that one looks like. And then I also used the Deco Art Extreme Sheen 24 Karat Gold. I love this gold. One day I think I'm going to do one in like golds and something else and try to find all different shades of gold and see what we can do there. Um, and then I just have my favorite. This time we are not going to forget to torch it. Get all the bubbles out. Well, I don't see very many bubbles today. There's a few. Okay. I'm starting so early today because of the fact that it's gets it's getting so hot. All right, now let's torch that again because I put a lot of see a lot of bubbles now. It's getting so hot. I learned last the other day that um, my paints are setting too quickly, and we don't want that. All right, so let's pour. Oh, I did put silicone in this too. I hadn't been putting silicone oil in, but I decided this time to use some silicone oil to try to get some prettier cells. So you can already see the cells starting to form in there. All right, let's torch this and see what we get. It's already got some very pretty cells starting. Spread this out to the edges real quick. So putting that white on the top helps, I'm noticing, not only in spreading it, 
but it's also letting me get some kind of cool undertones when that color starts to see out of the white, such as around the edges. You can kind of see where some cells are forming and the color starts. And it looks really cool, I think. I'm really hoping I get something other than browns. I'm afraid using those different reds, especially that um, the uh, red oxide, that rusty red, that I may have created a lot of brown. But let's start to slowly move the paint around and see what we got. Cat is very upset. She's I can hear her crying on the other side of the garage door. She's very upset that I'm out here and she's in there. Let's bring that center back. Drop it off this end too. Bring it back to center. This a corner. I want to bring it down some more. Alright, what do you guys think? I think I like that one. And they're getting better. And since I've started using um, better paints, I think that's helping too. I'm loving all these big cells that I've got. That's what I've been missing in some of my others is not getting those big cells. Wipe my hands off and I'm going to bring you down. Wipe my hands, I'll bring you down. Let you see all the colors. And then who knows, maybe I'll do a smaller one since I do still have some paints left. I like to use mo as much of my mixed up paints as I can. Hi Elizabeth. Okay, so here we go. Let's start looking at what we've got here. I really like this edge, this bottom right here, these corners that I get with no 
I've left a little bit of negative space and the colors are bleeding in. that corner and see how those colors have bled into the white there I, I like that and then that little bit of blue the blue got next to the white so it really lightened it out so that phthalo blue is not as dark as it normally would be but there are some dark spots there's some dark phthalo there's some dark what looks like it didn't come out I see some gold in there but I don't see that green Maybe it'll come out when, um, as it continues to set. I'm not sure. There's some of it. Okay, there's some of the green right in there, you can see. But just a little. So I think it's actually gonna look really good, especially when it dries and we get it varnished um or resined whatever i choose to do with it that'll depend on how it dries that looks really good right there all right guys i'm going to put this up to dry and i'm going to get set up and do something smaller um not sure what i'll do yet but i'll do something thanks have a good day I want to show you all these colors that we got in this one. You can see the blues, how the blue showed up, a little white corner. I like the little corners of negative space. They're very subtle and they're not entirely negative, all of them. They have little, some of them have little, little, uh, light colors through them. Really like that cloud look there. And then there's another negative corner. See how the colors see how the colors are in there? The blue and the pink. Although this didn't have any pink in it. And then there I really, really like the way that it ended up there in the white and how it came through. There's a dark blue. I know I had that phthalo blue in there. And you can see where it mixed with the white. There was no light blue in there. It was just phthalo. And then you can see here, look at all that gold there. Pretty fingers of gold. I love all these cells that came up. And this gold right here. Look at that. Look at how that shimmers and shines. And that little river right there. I love that little river right there running right through there. And you can see we've got the white in the center. Almost looks like a little rosebud right there. So that's this. So thank you for watching how I made this. And I guess what I should say is that it's now up on my Etsy page. So if you are interested in this piece, please be sure to check out my Etsy page, um, my Etsy shop, Art of Care, A-R-T in all caps, lowercase of, care in all caps. And again, thank you. You guys have a great day and a great week, and I'll talk to you later. Bye.